following Lori's talk, this is, uh, I didn't realize someone would make an entire presentation out of our heat map slides. Um, this, uh, but it's fantastic that you did, because I'm sitting there thinking, well, we've got slides like that. Um, and I'll explain this one. So this is time of day along the x-axis and number of days on the vertical axis. And this is a real patient taking real medicines. This is a, a patient with early stage dementia, 84 years old. And here we see the medication taking behavior. Um, and here we see their, uh, their circadian pattern based on posture. So this is time of day. And the blue means they're lying down. Red means they're standing up. And this person goes to bed every night at 10 PM, wakes up every morning at 8 AM. You can see them standing up here. And then they have a very active morning, sit down for lunch, have a fairly active afternoon, watch TV in the afternoon, stand up to you know, brush their teeth or whatever, and go to bed. Their children do not have to worry about this person's activity. Very regular, very repeatable. Uh, we, we would call that type of patient a metronome. They don't need our technology, but their children got a measurement of how um, able dad is able to take care of his own medications. And they decide, <laughs> we have nothing to worry about. Now, they might come back in six months and try it again and see how he's doing, and maybe six months after that. And at some point, they'll start seeing a shift, and they'll maybe see a shift to this next patient. And you can see, just by a glance, this is a very different situation. You don't have to be uh, very much trained to know that this person is not a metronome. This person needs careful attention. You can see that instead of sleeping at night, well, they're waking up multiple times per night, standing up, who knows what. Um, uh, at some point here, they're, they're up pretty much the entire night and the entire day. This is not healthy behavior for a 90-year-old person. And in fact, this is an early warning sign that if this was in a clinical process and this was shared with the doctor, they might say, you know, I think it's time to bring you in to see maybe your medicines need adjustment, maybe there's something else going on. And in fact, they were admitted to the hospital at the end of this time, and that's why the data stream stops. And you can see in the last week or so, um, they was, got almost uh, all sleep and just a little bit of staying awake time. A very big change in patterns. And so combining this physiologic measurement system with the medications that we're trying to use uh, will allow us to shift the side effects, to, to provide the proper amount of medicine with the minimal amount of side effects. Mm -hmm.